Hey there, so Airtable recently released the ability to take your formula output and display it as a single select field. So you may know this as the drop down with the different colored options that you can define. This is something that has been long awaited and I'm going to show you how to use it. My name is Andrew Dodds. I'm a co-founder here at SimpleStack and today we're going to look at how you can configure your formula field to do that, to basically create a visually appealing output that will allow the user to know that it's one of several options that, that may exist in a, a list of options. Let's get into it. Okay, before we get into the tutorial on how to do the single select output for the formula field, there's a really great article that you can read on this. This was written by a community manager at Airtable. I will link this in the comments and you can sort of understand how they went about building this and why it's such a great feature, although small but mighty. Um, and with that said, let's go ahead and jump over here to the, the base. Now, our use case, we're just going to imagine that we're managing projects and based on a due date being entered, we want to update a, a status and that status is going to be the, the formula field. So we're going to want that if, if there's a, a date that has been input into the system, we're going to want that to say that the project is scheduled. If there's no date yet, it's going to say not scheduled. So really simple. Think about what that might be for your use case. This is going to teach you the foundation of, of how to configure the field though. Okay. So we'll need a few fields to get this kicked off. Um, I'm going to start with a start date field. This is just going to be a simple date field. Nothing tricky there. Just go ahead and create a start date field if you're following along. Um, let's go ahead and just put some sample data in here. So we'll do project one, two, and three. Okay. I'm only going to give a date for project one. Okay. That looks pretty good. Um, and now we're going to configure the formula field. So if you're new to formulas, you maybe run across these in Excel. If this is your first time in Airtable formula, in Airtable are really similar, although slightly different. They don't necessarily have all of the functionality that you might expect from Excel if you frequently use that, uh, their, their formulas. We're going to call this uh, schedule status. And we're going to use a formula to do the calculation. So we're going to use an if then statement. Okay. So the way that these are set up is that if, if a condition is true, we expect a certain output. If it's not true, we get a different output. And these are, these are pretty uh, familiar concepts, I'm sure. Um, the way you structure that is just by separating a comma. So first is the, the logical piece of it. So we're going to say if there is a, a value in the start date, and the way you represent that is to just say if the field name. So if there's a value in, in the start date, then what we want to do, and you're going to put this in quotes, is output scheduled. This comma means otherwise. So this is the value if there's no value in the start date. We want to output um, need to schedule. And then all you're going to do is close the brackets. Now there's one more thing to do here, which is the formatting step. So we're going to go ahead and format it. And we're going to change the formula output to single select options. So you may have encountered these before. And what these allow you to do is to find options that will match those, those strings of text that we, previously, um, that we previously did. So we need to create an option for scheduled and need to schedule. Okay. So this first gray one is going to be need to schedule. Uh, it's pretty important that they're spelled exactly the same way. With a, with a string and a, a formula, when you put it in quotes, it's going to read it very literally. So you're going to want to make sure that you have uh, accounted for that. And then uh, scheduled will make dark green. Okay. You can also give it a fallback condition, which, which doesn't hurt, so we'll leave it. So if there's no you know, if it doesn't match any of the predefined options, just say you need to schedule it. Okay, and then we're going to create the field. 
So you see that what that does is whenever we uh, add, so let's put a start date here, up, updates it to scheduled on the schedule status. And if there wasn't a date in this field, it would say need to schedule. Okay. So that is the basics of configuring this to give you single select outputs. As you can tell, it's more visually appealing. The way that this would have looked prior to this release, I'll just go ahead and toggle this off, is like this. So just text. It's not as clear visually what's going on here or if this is one of several options. Um, and, and so this is just going to add additional usability for the app that you are uh, creating. Okay. So you can see that looks a lot better. Um, and that's how you take your formula outputs and turn them into a single select. Hey, well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning how to get your formula outputs into a single select format. And until next time.